If you have an Ubuntu Linux installation DVD and you're curious about its integrity, Ubuntu provides a way to validate the integrity of the ISO on the DVD. I'll put a link in the description. But it's a series of tests that you can run to first verify the ISO and then verify the files on the DVD. They're going to use a program called MD5SUM. This first part will verify the integrity of the ISO that's been downloaded from the Ubuntu website. As you can see here, basically running this MD5SUM program against the ISO. It'll produce a hash and then you compare that with the hash on the Ubuntu website. First thing you need to do is get a hold of the ISO that you, that you use or was used to burn the DVD. And to do that, you can go to Ubuntu's website. Let me open this in a different tab. For example, we used Ubuntu 20.04 for this test. So you can go to their website here and then download the ISO. Next thing you'll need is the MD5SUMS file. And it's right here for this version. I actually look it up if you can see right here that this is the hash for the ISO that you download. In this case we're using the desktop version. So what they're asking you to do is put this MD5 sum file that we just saw in the download directory and then you can run this command. So I already downloaded the ISO. We'll go ahead and take a look at this directory here. You can see that there are several files got the Ubuntu 20.04 ISO right here, along with some other ones, but we're going to concentrate on this one today. Then also have the MD5 sums file. So we'll go ahead and just run this, just like they said. This might take a little bit because it's calculating a hash. While it's running, we'll take a look at this page. So if you have more than one ISO in there, it, you might get a, a message saying it can't read it or whatnot. But we do want to make sure that the ISO that we're concerned with prints an OK next to it. You can see here that they specify that. Make sure that the ISO you're looking at has an OK. So we'll go ahead and wait till this is done. All right, it finished up, so let's take a look at it. And you can see here that it does give you failure, but this is for the live server, which we're not interested in. We are interested in the de desktop version for 20.04, and it gave us the OK. So that test passed. Now let's look at checking the CD, or the DVD in our case, and verifying the files on it match the files on the ISO. So there is a manual method here that they specify. And there's also a an automated script. And what we'll do in this case is we're going to run the automated script. So it says to copy the file, um, copy the script to a file, and then we're going to run it with this command down here. So using your favorite text editor, go ahead and copy contents in this file. I already did this ahead of time, and you can see that this is the same thing as the file. So if you're new to Linux, you need to make sure that you this file is has permissions to actually run it. The easiest way to do that is to basically change the permissions and tell the user to or give the user executable permissions on that file. And you can do that just like that. Okay, next step is to run the file, and we're going to give it two arguments. The first argument is the ISO itself, and the second argument is the path to the CD-ROM. So depending on your system, it should be dev CD-ROM. That's what it is on this Ubuntu when we're running 20.04. Move this over to the side, and let's run this. So we're going to run the hash, 
and then we're going to give it the path to and we are used to okay and then we're going to point to the CD problem so what this is going to do is it's first going to get the hash from the ISO and then get the hash from the installation DVD and then compare them. Go ahead and start that. And I've run this before and it will take several minutes. So if you want to take a break, now would be the time to do that. You can see here that the MD sum is running. It'll take up quite a bit of CPU. When it gets to the part where it checks a CD-ROM, you can hear the, the DVD spinning up. All right, everything looks good. So at this point, we know that the ISO that we used, that we downloaded from the website was the same one used to burn this DVD. Now whenever I'm running a test like this, I always like to test the failure case as well. So I'll go ahead, run another test, but this time I'm gonna change the ISO. So I'll leave the 20.04 DVD in the, in the computer, but change the ISO to another version. And if everything works correctly, it should fail. Let's see the choices we have. I know we have more than one 18 in here. We'll just use this 18.04. All right, let's give this a try. Again, this will take a while for it to run. All right, and that verification failed as we expected. That's a good sign. So if you burned your own Ubuntu installation DVD or you got it from a third party, with just a few simple steps, you can verify its integrity. Well, that wraps it up for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.